Storms and Cyclones I'm wind, I'm wind, I'm unique. Sometimes I'm cold and at other times warm. Sometimes I'm like a breeze and sometimes like a storm. I'm carefree, I'm fearless. I can roam about wherever I want. Be it a city, village or slum, river, mountain or field. I swing, I flow. I'm the wind, I'm the wind, I'm unique. Hello friends, I have given my introduction to you through this poem. Yes, I the one who flows everywhere. Neither do I have a shape nor color. Sometimes I flow like a breeze and sometimes I turn into a storm or cyclone. Take a balloon, try blowing it with air. What happened? The balloon got filled up and the air pressure inside the balloon became high. Isn't it? And at the same place, the air pressure is low outside. The balloon. Now leave the balloon in the air. Didn't the balloon fly up in the sky? And all the air came out zzzz. What did you learn from this experiment? Friends, today is Makar Sankranti. It is a tradition to fly kites today. My flow is perfect for flying kites today. The children are very excited to fly kites today. Come on, you also go and get your kites. We shall also fly kites. It will be a lot of fun. The objectives of this story are to understand the qualities of the wind. Come Shyam, the troops of children would have arrived from the other villages. We will get late because of you. You always come like a horse flying over wind. Come, let us go. Where are the other friends? They will all reach the ground. Friends, you always come late. Come on, hurry up and take out the kites. I am very excited. However, I have never flown a kite earlier. Actually, I will also try flying a kite for the first time. It looks simple. Just lift the kite in the sky and pull the string. Look, the red one is mine. Today, I will defeat everyone. Friends, what do you think? Is it so simple to fly a kite? Come, let us see. Hey, don't you know how to fly a kite? You will not be able to defeat us. Wait, wait. We will soon cut the strings of your kite. Friends, do you know why Ramesh and his friends are unable to fly their kites? Has something similar ever happened to you? Come, let us see what the children do. Look there, Raja Bhaiya. It looks as if his cycle got a puncture. We should help him. Come, let us help him. These kites have anyways deceived us. Raja Bhaiya, let us help you. Oh, Ramesh, Sham, Mahesh. Looks like all of you were flying kites as today's Maka Sankranti. Go and fly your kites. Have fun. Don't worry. I will fill air in the cycle's tire. Oh, Bhaiya, our kites are not flying. Look, the other troops are having so much fun. Wait, let me finish repairing this. Then I will help you understand why the kites are bothering you all by not flying. Bhaiya, how much air do you fill in the tire? Only that much air due to which the tire is tight enough to run on the road. And to be able to do that, we have to fill air in the tube of the tire. Do you know, if we fill in more air, then the tube could burst? Why is that? Once I had filled my football so much with air that it burst. Why did you sleep while filling air? Friends, do you know the answer to this? There is air filled in the tube of the cycle. In hot weather, the air in the tube expands because of the heat. But the tube cannot expand accordingly. Therefore, it bursts because I expand on heating. The air is filled in the tyre now. Let us go and fly your kites now. We have to defeat the others, isn't it? Oh Ramesh, look, you are standing in the opposite direction of the flow of the wind. How will your kite fly like this? In the opposite direction of the wind? How will the direction of wind impact anything here? 
The wind is blowing in all the directions, isn't it, Bhaiya? So, friends, what do you think about this? How will you find out about the direction of my flow? Let me tell you one way. Pick a handful of sand from the ground. Now slowly release it back to the ground. While falling, the sand will flow in a direction. That will be the direction of my flow. You should stand in this direction. Today the wind is flowing in this direction. Now watch how your kite will soar. Sham, hold the manja. Now leave the kite in the air. Pull, Sham, pull the string. Hey, Ramesh, come on, cut the string of the opponent. Up, up goes our kite. Look, we cut the kite of the opponent rope. Wow, it is so much fun now. Hey, Meena ji, see, we cut your kite string. All of you think about other ways in which you will be able to find out the direction of my flow. Did you observe friends? To know the direction in which I am flowing is so important while flying a kite. While the children are flying their kites, there are a lot of questions about me popping up in their minds. To know the direction of the wind is so important to fly a kite. If Raja Bhaiya wouldn't have told us, we would not be able to fly our kites today. Hmm, now our scientist Ramesh will not be satisfied till he finds out all the characteristics of air. Come friends, let me trouble the children a little bit. They are all going back home on their cycles and talking about me. Let me increase my speed slightly. Let us see what happens then. Uh oh. How come the wind suddenly caught speed? I'm finding it so difficult to cycle. Yes, it seems like I want to move ahead, but the wind with its speed is pushing me back. It looks like the speed of the wind also impacts riding a bicycle. Shyam, Mahesh, let us go to the professor uncle's house. He keeps trying out weird experiments on science. He will be able to explain us the characteristics of wind. Wind, wind, oh wind. Please tell Ramesh everything about yourself or else he will not be able to sleep. Then he will trouble us. Please help him. Hurry up and tell him. These children are so naughty. They all want to find out about my traits. Let us see what does the professor tell them. I have heard he is very intelligent. Meanwhile, all of you try this simple experiment. Take a glass and fill it with water up to the brim. Now take a square cardboard piece. Now place the cardboard piece on the glass like this. Press lightly with the palm of your hand. Now carefully upturn your hand. What happened? Magic! The glass filled with water got stuck and did not fall. Think how did this happen? Let me leave with a hint. The answer is linked to the air pressure. I shall ask you all in the next video. We shall meet soon friends. Wind Storms and Cyclones Part 2 you do not call me, still I am everywhere. I will stay in your home, in your room. I shall not pay you any rent. You will not be able to catch me. You will not be able to live without me. Tell me, who am I? Yes, yes friends, I am the wind. I am sure you remember the wet winds which blew after the hot winds of the summer season. And the same wind makes our bones tremble in the winters. When I blow slowly, you can easily fly a kite. Row a boat and even animals and birds are happy. But if my mood spoils, then I convert into storms and fill the sky with sand. I even uproot the big trees. Oh, now do not get frightened. I'm in a good mood. Do you remember, in the last video we conducted an experiment? We had taken one glass full of water and kept a square cardboard piece over it. Then we had upturned the glass. 
Do you remember what had happened? The glass full of water did not fall. Did you find out as to why it had happened? We learned from this experiment that eye or wind exerts pressure from all the sides, even from the upper areas. Ramesh, Shyam and Mahesh had reached the professor's house after flying kites. They had a lot of queries regarding the qualities of air. Just look at the professor's house. It looks like a science laboratory. There is an experiment being conducted everywhere. Come, let us see what do the children find out from here. Learning Objectives To find out the qualities of wind. Look, the house of the professor is so interesting and fun. Look, so many bottles, glassware of different shapes and sizes, colorful liquids and so many books. It looks like it is someone's birthday today. There are so many balloons filled with air lying here. Come, let us ask the professor. Hello, professor, sir. It seems he is busy in an experiment. Let me burst a balloon. Hey, naughty boy. Who is it? It's us, sir. We were flying kites today and it was then that we learnt about the importance of the direction of wind. But there were a lot of questions in our mind about the characteristics of wind. So we thought that who better than you to help us? Children, we cannot see air or wind, but we can see its features around us in our everyday life. But all of you will have to look for the characteristics of wind on your own by observation. The professor is right. Till the time you will not conduct an experiment, you will not be able to understand. Let us see what the children learn about me. All of you also observe carefully. Professor sir, is it someone's birthday today? There are so many balloons filled with air lying. Oh, no, no. I had filled them for some experiments. Here, why don't you also try blowing them with air? Here, I blew four to five balloons. That is why you are gasping for breath. Wait, let me bring you some water. Come here. Look what Professor Sir is doing. Why is he heating up the soda can? Look. Now he is picking it up with a tongue. What was this? How did this happen? Friends, wasn't this such an interesting experiment? Could you understand something? It is something which we cannot see, but it is all around us. It exerts pressure on everything, even on our earth. That is me, the wind or air. It is the atmospheric pressure. Wait, let me explain. When the professor put the can in the water basin, some of the steam inside it condenses into water, reducing the amount of air inside it. The pressure of air inside the can decreases, then the pressure of the air exerted from outside the can. As a result, the can gets distorted. This shows air exerts pressure. Let me wear the professor's spectacles. Ramesh, beta, did you understand anything about air pressure? Come, let us do another experiment. <laughs> you are looking like a real professor. You just need to have a moustache. And a little bit of brain too. Okay, Professor Ramesh. Look, the professor is doing some other experiment. How many experiments does he do in a day? Look, he has put a piece of paper in the glass. Let us go and see what is he trying to do. Look, now he is burning the piece of paper and now he is placing the balloon on the glass. I think the balloon is going to burst. Why are you so scared? Look, the balloon is slowly going inside the glass. I have never seen anything like this before. Look, when I try and pick this balloon, it is stuck to the glass.
So friends, aren't my qualities very unique? Did you understand something from the experiment? I always flow from an area of high pressure to low pressure. So when the paper got burned, there was low air pressure in the glass and high pressure around the balloon. That is why the balloon got pulled inside the glass. Professor sir, we learnt a few things about the qualities of wind by observing you do the experiments. Like air exerts pressure on things around it. Wind always flows from an area of high pressure to area of low pressure. Very good. You seem to be clever. But do not stop thinking. The air is everywhere. You must observe carefully at all the places. A lot of facts about the qualities of air are hidden around us. Today the wind speed is going to increase. The low pressure built in the coastal regions can lead to stormy weather. Let us go home. I do not want to get stuck in the storm. Yes friends, today my speed is going to increase. In nature, there are several situations where warm air rises up. The air pressure at that place is lowered. Because of this, wind currents are generated. All of you also peep outside your windows. Look if you also see a storm coming. I change my flow and speed frequently. We shall learn more about this in the next video. Take care of yourself. Wind Part 3 What are the factors which impact the flow of wind? There flows the wind, it blew away Raju's cap. Oh, Dadaji is running behind his newspaper. Look at the trees, it looks as if they are merrily singing. The birds are also happily flying around. What can be said about the wind? It makes everyone dance to its tune. Sometimes it flows right and at others it flows left. The weather is also surprised. It also changes with the wind. So friends, how is the flow of wind today? I have heard that the wind plays an important role in weather forecast. On the different means of transport like air and water and on the life of plants and Just try and think that you had to go out for some important work. But the wind is very strong. You see this and hear the sound of the fast wind and think whether you should go or not. But how does the wind blow? How does it change its direction? I have a lot of such questions in my mind. I'm sure you do too. So come, wear your thinking caps. Let us find out answers to such questions. But be careful, the wind might blow your cap away. To understand the factors which impact the flow of wind. Friends, this is Manav and Rinku's house. The children are having their summer vacations. All the children from the neighborhood have gathered in their house to watch the cricket match between India and Sri Lanka. Let us also go and find out what are the children doing. Today, India is surely going to win the match. We just have to make 10 runs and then we will win. Our team is great. Come on now. We have almost won the match. I want to watch the film now. Change the channel. Oh no, the power got cut. How will we now come to know if we won the match or not? This light had to go at this moment? Now we do not know. When will it come back? Okay, let us go then. Yes, it is going to take around 2 to 3 hours now. Oh, I am unable to see anything in the dark. Can someone bring a torch or a candle? Wait, I will get it. Mother, Mother, where are you? Where is the torch? Manav, it is in the room. Wait, I'll bring it. <laughs> Look at these shapes on the wall. Oh, look, the light from the torch is falling on the globe there. 
Oh yes, think that this torch is like the sun and the globe the earth. Yes, that is a good idea. The sun rays also fall like this on the earth. Children, here take this candle. It seems it will take a long time for the light to come back. Why don't we use the candle as the sun? And Rinku, you spin this globe like the earth spins on its axis. Look, this is the equator. The rays of the sun fall directly over it and the sun rays fall slanting on the other areas of the earth. This means that it is very hot at places where the rays of the sun fall directly. Look, the shape of the earth is also round like this globe. That is the reason the sun's rays do not fall equally at all the places. Yes, it is very cold at the north and south pole. Friends, the children are thinking correctly. The places on the earth where the rays of the sun fall directly are very hot and the other places in comparison are less hot or cold. When we spin this globe like the earth and use the candle as the sun then. Yes, exactly like the sun, isn't it? Yes, and because of this, the places on earth which face the sun have day and the others have night. Does this mean that because of these reasons, the flow of wind is determined? Friends, Rinku has asked such a nice question. Do you think that all these factors impact the flow of wind? <laughs> the candle extinguished on just walking about wind. Let us go to the terrace. Do take the torch. It will be dark on the stairs. Are you scared? No. No, I am not scared. Wow! It is such a moonlit night. So many stars are also shining. Why don't we sleep on the terrace tonight? Shalu Chachi. Why are you putting water on the terrace floor? Mana, the floor of the terrace gets very hot due to the blazing sun all day. By putting water, it cools down and it is comfortable to sleep here. Look, wherever Chachi is pouring water, the ground releases steam. That means it would have become very hot due to the sun. This means that even on the places on earth which are very hot, the ground and air becomes very hot there. Yes, like we just saw with the help of the candle and the globe. That is why the wind is also very warm here. But because of putting water, the wind seems to be a little cool, isn't it? Yes, this means that the places near the equator would have very hot winds blowing. I really want to know that how does wind become hot and then cooled again and how does it rises and flows? Friends, looks like the children want to know about the wind patterns. Do you also want to know like them? Okay, so due to rise in temperature at hot places, the air begins to expand and its density decreases. As hot air is lighter than cold air, it rises. Because of this, the air pressure decreases at these places. To fill this gap, air with high pressure, the cold air comes in from cold places. Once it comes in hot places, the cold air also heats up and rises. So due to changes in the temperature, the flow of wind keeps taking place. We call it the wind flow. Oh look, the power is back. Come let us go and find out who won the match. I'm going to sleep. Let us go for a walk early in the morning. Good night. Friends, the children ask some interesting questions. We shall also go for a walk with them in the morning. Wow, it was nice to sleep in the open air. The mosquitoes bit me all night. 
Come, let us quickly go for a walk or else it will become very hot. During the summers, the early morning breezes also so warm. Come, let us sit on that mound of sand for some time. The wind is warm. The cool breeze has its own charm. Come, let us go somewhere else. It is not possible to sit on this sand now. It has become hot. Let us go near the pond. The air will be cooler there. You were right. It is cooler here. It seems the earth gets warmer sooner than water. Hmm. Manav, do you remember when last year we had gone to Mumbai in our summer vacations? The sea breeze was so pleasant. But what is this cycle? Sometimes the earth gets warmer than water and due to this the wind becomes impacted. I am unable to understand. So friends, have you also got stuck in these questions about the flow of wind? Come, let us do a simple experiment. Take two bowls, fill one with water and the other with sand. Now keep them in the sun for a few hours. Now touch the sand and water. What did you find out? Now keep the same bowls in a cool place at night. Try and touch them again. You will observe that water in comparison to sand heats up slowly and cools down slowly. The similar thing happens on earth and on the seaside. The land heats up on the seaside in the day time. The hot air rises, the cool air from the sea comes and takes its place. The reverse happens at night. The land cools down faster than water at night, due to which the wind starts to flow towards the sea. It is going to rain in few days. The monsoon will arrive. Then there are going to be cool winds everywhere. I really like the rainy season. Yes, it is fun to make paper boats and row them in puddles. I really love to jump in puddles too. Yes, and you get a scolding from your mother because of this. Look, it has begun to drizzle. Let us go home and ask Dadaji all our questions about these changing wind patterns. Friends, there are a lot of different kinds of winds that blow on earth. Like monsoon winds, hot winds, cold winds, etc. Other than temperatures, the geographical locations, the spinning of the earth on its axis, etc. impact the wind patterns. Now, all of you also collect information on the different types of winds. We shall meet soon, friends. Wind, Storm and Cyclones Part 4 Hello friends, at last the rains have arrived. Due to my changing directions, air pressure, change in temperature and other reasons, the rains arrives. Friends, who does not like the rains, isn't it? After the scorching heat, the cool breeze is such a relief. The farmers impatiently wait for the rain. The rainy season is also known as the monsoon. Do you know how does the monsoon arrive? And storms are also formed because of increase in my speed. Look for answers to questions like these with the help of this video. The objective of this video is to understand about monsoon and storms. Today we got a holiday from the school because of the rain. Come let us have a lot of fun. We shall get wet in the rain. Row paper boats. Eat hot pakora. Look at the sky. Such dark clouds have formed. It seems I will have to use my umbrella. The rain is very heavy. Look, Ramu Kaka and the other farmers are dancing and welcoming the rain in their fields. Yes, they wait for the rain for the whole year. Look how the weather changes. 
It was hot till yesterday and it is rainy today. The clouds have appeared like it was time for them to come. The monsoon arrives after the summer. Yes, but it is strange that every year the monsoon arrives in June in our country exactly on time. Hmm, it is not a late comer like you. It is something to think about that the monsoon arrives in Kerala exactly on time. Friends, let me tell you about the monsoon. The land breeze and sea breeze is a natural phenomenon. When land breeze is dry whereas the sea breeze is full of water vapour. This water vapour is responsible for rain. When the land breeze blows it's warm and it becomes cold on reaching the sea. On cooling the amount of water vapour increases. When it comes towards the land it again becomes warm and because of this water vapour condenses and falls as rain. This process continues and is responsible for the onset of monsoon. The sky has become so dark and there is lightning too. I am really scared of the sound of the thunder. What if it falls one day? Are you a coward? There is nothing to be scared of. When two clouds with water collide, thunder is formed. Because of which the lightning is formed. It is because of this that we hear thunder. Yes friends, Meena is right. The droplets of water collided against one another in the clouds and the lightning is formed. I'm completely drenched. My mother will get angry if I catch a cold. I'm going home. Let us meet in the evening if it stops raining. Pinky, it has stopped raining. Are you coming to play? Yes, I'm coming. Come, let us make paper boats. These puddles are full of water. It will be fun to row our boats. Oh, look at these leaves. They are flying in such an irregular pattern, almost like a funnel. And the sand is also flying in the same pattern. Yes, really. Looks like it is going to rain again. It has become very windy too. Looks like a storm will come. Children, come inside. It looks like there a storm is approaching. Let us go inside. The sand is going in my eyes. Pinky, can you give me some water? I'm thirsty. Oh, Shyam, be careful. The bottle might break and then mother will be very angry. Look, when I swirl the water in this bottle and then upturn it, the water falls like a whirlpool. Shiv, let me also try. Yes, you are right. This is like the leaves which we observed some time back outside. Isn't it the same pattern? Yes, I have seen a similar picture in a science book. It was a picture of a cyclone. Cyclone? What is cyclone? I have read that a cyclone is a very high intensity storm. Yes friends, a cyclone is a kind of storm. Sometimes when the temperature rises, the hot air rises with a gush. An area of low pressure is formed there. Cold air gushes into replace the empty space. In this way, wind keeps moving and begins to circle around the eye of the storm or the area of low pressure. The eye of the storm is the place with the lowest air pressure. From here, the wind keeps rising and a cyclone is formed. Children, try and listen in 
It is being announced on the radio that there is a possibility of a cyclonic activity in the western state of Orissa. Dadaji, does the cyclone cause damage like the other storms? Yes, Sham. There is a lot of difference between a storm and a cyclone. The wind blows with a very high intensity in a cyclone, accompanied with heavy rain. The cyclones occur in the coastal parts, hence the waves of the sea also become huge. Because of all these reasons, there is a lot of damage to life and property. There are winds of high intensity in a cyclone. All the trees, plants, electricity poles, etc. is damaged in the intensity. The normal life is thrown out of gear because of this. As the waves of the sea also become huge, there is a situation of flood also. Children, listen. They are announcing on the radio how the people in the cyclone hit areas need to prepare. It is important to take precaution about the following. To be in contact, your mobile phones should be charged. To be informed on the latest update about the cyclone, you should listen to the radio and TV. Keep all your important documents and papers in a plastic bag. Prepare an emergency kit with all the important items. Drinking water must be available. Baby food and medicines should be ready. Reach a safe place before the cyclone strikes. It looks like the people of Orissa will have to be well prepared. It means that the rain is always not a happy situation. It sometimes brings difficulties with itself. I think we should gather more information on about the cyclone. We should also sensitize the people about the preparedness required in a cyclone. Yes, friends. Storms like cyclones, tornadoes, typhoon, hurricane are dangerous storms. But nowadays, with satellite and radar information, it can be predicted about these storms and people can be warned about them in advance. I hope you will also inform people living around you about these storms. It is very important to have a plan of evacuation ready before a storm like cyclone strikes. Keep this in mind friends, we shall meet soon.